second episode of Amped. We are now running if we look at the F3. There it is, upper left corner, 1.7.2 now. New biomes, colored glass, all that wonderful stuff. Horses that run better. Yeah, the chunk loading I'm not a fan of. Anyway, while you were gone, I did a lot of work, got some coal, fired up the furnaces, got some more of this material here. We found this area. We blocked it off so I could get coal safely. So what we need now, we need some of this block. And while we're doing that, we're going to open this up a little bit so we can see a little better, see what we got here. All right, double torch to indicate exit. And of course, we'll light the sucker up so we can see where everything is and make sure nothing spawns in the, our way. Uh, I don't want to use one of those. I dug up some gravel, so there. Of course, sprinkling them a little liberally so nothing will spawn in here. Okay, that area is now safe. And here's where we were. So let's dig our way down a little bit. Make a second path. Plus I get more of this cobblestone, which I kind of need for the basement of the house that we're building on top of that big hill. So... We got that. There. And we'll just grab that. Grab that piece of coal. And split. I hear a skelly. And just pop that one out of there so it doesn't look artificial. Enderman. What we don't need. Hi, Skelly. You die, Skelly. I can't get up. There we go. There, that'll make things a little easier. Clean this out a little bit so we can move around a little better. And more material for me. That's another thing. Oh, creeper. I saw that. Looks like it's pretty much a dead end. But we can fix that if we want. I have a feeling if I go a little more down this way, we'll meet up with them eventually. Double creeper, not good. Oh, and they're both coming for us. Uh, well, there goes one, and probably killed the other. The best part of using uh, gravel is if we can't reach, we can just pop nearby and it'll fall into place. All right, let's reset here. There we go. I want to be sure that we have this fairly well lit. Uh oh, I did not see him coming. This does not bode very well for us right now. check for things and then the coast is clear and then as soon as I turn my back things go horribly wrong eat the food there and we got ourselves some did 
Just being sure we're safe here. I'm gonna always light these places up as well as we can. Another creeper. That's the thing about stone tools is that it doesn't always work out. Alrighty. It's time to bail. I see the iron, but unfortunately you kind of need tools to take care of to get that stuff. And I don't have the toolage. So let's head back up here into our little hidey hole. And let's see what we got here. I want to use this for foundation, but we kind of need it for tools as well. There, another pickaxe. And while well, we can, another sword, just in case. We want to try and preserve as much of that as we can. There, more torches, just because. And it looks like it's starting to get dark. So it was nice and convenient that we got a mine system right here. So now that we're a little more prepared, we can come down here and see what we got going. Let's pop a few more torches in. Nothing there. Nothing that can access, access us over there. Well, that's kind of close. There. It's better. Good timing. And we get to recover. Yeah, let's see, can I reach over here? No. All right, good enough. Good enough for government work. Well, look at this long-winded way. All right, let's open this up. And get rid of that, because it's kind of... Away. And now to go for the iron. Yep, a little longer. Oh, I don't like this. That's better. And we'll just fill this up. Gives monsters a much lesser chance of spawning inside there. And that's just kind of in the way. And of course, this just so I can get more material for our foundation for the house. There we go. So we haven't seen anything really exciting over here. Oh, creeper. Ah! Again. Well, you know, sometimes things don't always go your way. And in this case, when I generally start out... Yeah, that's a dead end. That's okay. It's pretty much how it is. Well, I wonder where that went. Oh, well. Anyway. Did, did enough exploring just for now. It will come back here eventually. And there's the double torch to indicate exit is over here. And it's dark. Oh boy. And move the player. There we go. Oh no, we're going the wrong way. We're going to die. And we did. Fortunately, 
when you're by the bed. Get all our stuff back with these. Okay, okay. And, uh, all right, let's see if anything can go. Oh, okay, all our stuff is still there. That's good. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, for the time being, I'll just pause the video, collect all this stuff, get everything back to where things were, and then we can uh, show you more stuff that I want to show you. Okay, we're back on top of the big hill. That white is not a render issue. That is actually the cloud deck level. As you can see, this used to go straight, but we've recurved it because we've off camera have built up this sort of below ground farm for the for the future house that'll be right next to it. So what I'm doing now is I'm carefully traversing. What I want to do is make sure by putting the wheat in view in the hot bar is try to grab something that's in multiples of three. So right now we got five. Now we have six, which is good. And replant where we've taken it from, obviously. What I'm going to do is somewhere in here I'll up against the walls I'll put a little kind of a little slab so we can walk between the uh, walk between the uh, individual plots here let's see all right and that's two which is not a multiple of three so we let we let that live and when we head back down or at one of these points Maybe make a crafting table up here, make more bread. That's pretty much how we're surviving right now. Because it was not very kind when it came to creating food. And I made it across without jumping. Interesting. Alrighty. So we have that. And sort of outline here is the outline for the foundation for the house. Now the house will go along here, but... Since it's kind of close to this edge, the, I'm making a ground level porch. And we'll make the porch go along this so, you know, we can stand pretty much almost right up to it and see most of this, uh, most of this garden. Kind of ran out of material here. And what I have been doing is as I ex excavate this level downwards, just by one block, so this is all going to go. What I do is I go over to the side, I haven't done it here yet, is plop in dirt till I can't reach, like I can't reach there. That way no monster can sneak up from behind. And you see a few holes here, well, that hole's legit. This one and that one while I was working up here at night, in like you saw in the intro to this particular episode, creepers blew up and I filled in everything up to one layer short because wherever the house is going to be that layer is obviously going to get dug up so if we grab the right tool which will be a new change of pace when we do something like that and one two i want to count here three four five six well what i'm going to do is i'm just going to match up to here and then take our foundation block and put that in here so we got this little section here not exactly sure what I'll do with this little bump out but doesn't really matter too much I'll just dig along here Let's see. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I'll do a little bump out over here. Okay, what I need to do right now, 
and I'll just do a small amount. I'm not going to spend a lot of time here because it's boring to watch. Is I'll just dig out this two meter wide section as so. And I'll show you what I mean. Is I'm going to move this aside for now, grab that, and where I can reach, plop down. Where I can't reach, we're good enough. Can't reach. There, now we're safe. So now we're going to determine how far we can go this way. Because I'll try and make it a little fancy. Yeah, right there. Now I can get rid of that. Of that. I somewhat have a design concept in mind. So I'm going to do just for the time being. These corners will have block just like that. You won't see these corners outside, but what I'm thinking of doing is making that larger section uh, an extra story, so you will ultimately see it. And again, it, it's not exactly why I chose to do it that way. And this section is just for the porch. So we got a little bit of a Get a little bit of a layout for the new home. And it's going to follow this. And I think I will, let's see here. Uh, all right, just to make things even, there's our porch level. Okay, it's past. That's all that matters. And one, two, three, four, five. And just to mark it off. There we go. And I've already done that elevation thing on this end, so monsters down there will not come up here when it's all lit and ready to go. Yeah, that looks just about right. That's going to be a really nice looking house when it's all said and done. Unfortunately, it's getting a little dark. But what I'll do is swap out those guys. Let's see. I'm trying to somewhat duplicate what I got. Across the way, let's eat a couple pieces of bread. Just to keep keep our bodies nice and strong, and always keeping a vigilant eye out. Hmm. Yeah, it's okay. So you get the idea, pretty much. Well, like I said, you get the idea. Not going to bore you with the rest. What I'll do is uh, when something entertaining happens or... Oh, Lord. Of all the creatures to spawn in. Oh, look. You wrecked a... You wrecked a piece of dirt. Well, now I get a pretty much a board. Anyway, I'll keep the camera rolling just to see if we can get to bed safely. As you'll see, if I do, I've been killed quite a few times just to get us up to this point. And of all creatures that spawned in, a witch right next to my little hidey hole. And it killed me a few times. As you'll see right there, four times, killed by witch using magic. Get some experience by getting a few of them. 
All right, while I'm here, before I call it good, let's just be sure we're safe. As I sort of lit up this dark area, it's a little harder for them to spawn in at that point. What I'm gonna do is I've made some bone meal and I'm gonna take a whack at a few of these. Actually, I want to kind of see that. I want to keep it in increments of threes. See, I kind of need to put a fence all around that upper farm. Skeleton just completely ruined part of it. in a bad way. Okay, that's not a multiple of three, so we'll ignore that. And what I'm going to do right now is pause the camera, put everything back together. That, or should I say, I'll make some fence, put together the, put together the farm, make this bread, and we'll take it from there. Alrighty, back underground, roughly at the start. Plugged up these holes, just made the steps a little easier to navigate. Get rid of some of these floaters. Oh, look. Never noticed this. Let's light this up and see if anything is in here. Looks like it's a dead end. Maybe not. Maybe it is. Yeah, it's a dead end, but we know where to go to get some coal when we need it. Eh, I don't know what happened there. Again, we're going to need more of this stuff, so... Where it looks like it, it's kind of interfering more than being a plus. We're just getting rid of it. We've already been that way. We haven't really gone this way. So let's see what we got this way. More iron, that's always good. Even more iron, that's even better. And I think we got dead ends here. Oh well, I guess we got some more iron. And you might be asking, why am I still using stone tools if I got iron? Well, I want to use them up first. And I don't want to really use super important tools on minor things either. Like in a very big, good uh, boy, big stutter. Well, Moyang said that amplified biomes will do that. And sure enough, it did. All right. I wonder if... Oh, I don't have a shovel. I lost the last one working on building the foundation to the house there. Okay, it looks like there is something behind here. So what I'm going to do is dig, 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 and dig. And I'm not going to bore you with this little segment. Cut the video and see where it takes us. Well, here we are on the other side of this uh, gravel pit and da -da -da -da, dead end. Well, it looks like we've, for the most part, dug this whole thing out for what it's mostly worth. I mean, we still got some more, more exploring areas to explore, exploring areas. And we'll just get rid of this because it's kind of in the way. Go around again. Yeah, I think I got everything I can here. I mean, it's not completely 
useless at this point. I know there's something under here. So see, I knew I knew this existed. Put a double torch there. Put a light over there. rid of some of this because it's kind of making things a little claustrophobic and of course more foundation material for the house hmm. I found more material here iron yep and here's the uh, s the stack of gravel that I left to kind of plug the hole up there now it's in the way over here. Plug it up that way. Got lava down there. Open this up just a little bit so you have an easier way to get in and out. In case we have to run. All right, I, how many torches do I have left? Not too many. All right. Ooh, a lot more iron. Make sure nothing's coming that way, good. more iron this way if mouse wants to play work with me. finding a lot of iron in here you know I'm just remembering I was watching what very few amped uh, amplified uh, biome videos there are in terms of a full-blown series being made and someone pointed out that it seems that the amount of iron that's available, or ores in general, are also amplified. It seems to be true. And that broke. Oh well. What I'll do is. A, you know, now I'm turning this into. Mission to getting lost here. Okay. See what I want to do now is put a double torch there to now I'll do it that way. It's closer to there, so I'll know this is the exit. Okay. And that's a dead end. I should probably close these off. Now we got another way out, actually. And Sheepy needs to get out of the way. What I'll do is I'll just open this up a little bit. Here, now we got two ways in and out. Alrighty, let's pop in these large numbers of iron I'll take three of those for now first upgrade of the first upgrade of the series that can stew away nighttime is coming so we're gonna sleep it off a little bit Gonna do is split this up a little bit. Oh well, yeah, that's not gonna work too well. Alrighty, per usual, math is a little wrong. Sleep that off.
Let's go down here and get the rest of that stuff that we were trying to get. There we go. Get more basement material, as I said before. Uh-oh. Every time you hear that little... That means that I got the material. It didn't fall into the lava, which is good. Just remove some of this. Uh, oh no, we don't want to remove that. Kind of important. Kind of safe. Safe thing to keep. Open this up a little bit so we can have another safe means of egress. Hello, what we got here? Well, we'll do that for now. big room here. And it looks like that's all we got here is a big room with some room for movement. We need to improve that a little bit here. Look at how close we are to the lava. Not very comfortable with that. So I'm going to just cut this open a little bit. There we go. Turning out to be a bit of an interesting journey. Oh, hi. Come on. Run. Double tap means run. Jeez. You know, if I'm screwing up, that's one thing. But I'm pushing buttons and nothing's working. That does not make me a happy person. Boy, there's iron everywhere. And that's a good thing for us. to get to it without having to stop what we were doing. Okay, we'll keep that. There's just a ton of it. Or just making it look like there's a ton. foundation material. Let's pop that in. And we got a what appears to be a dead end. Okay, we get that covered. Alright, so much for that end. Let's see what's on this end. Of course, we're gonna, per usual, open things up. Oh, looks like another system. Hey, gold! Not sure how we're getting down there quite yet. Although, being that there was a uh, iron deposit there. I think that might help us uh, find our way over. Uh, 
Oh, no wonder I heard a hiss. There's a lava pool right there. Okay. The more we open up, the better. What we want to do here is wrong buttons. Like we got an opening too small for you. <laughs> Works for me, not for you. Oh, creeper. Hey, creeper. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, you dope. So much for a stairway down. Well, still it works. Just put a torch there. Yeah, we didn't lose much. Put one there. There, the double torch for the exit. Oh boy. I do not have enough torches to keep this going. With what little coal that I have currently, and throw away things we need. Bad. Hey, a little slime. I'm surprised a tiny one. More iron here. Throw a torch there so nothing can spawn. No, well, we got plenty of coal actually. So let's go for that. Four pieces. Not a lot, but whatever. Plop. There we go. Still not enough. Now ah, we got more over here. And we'll fill this in just to make spawning that much less likely for monsters. Close it up a little bit. Hear ya. I hear spiders. light this area up so we'll be safe to digging the gold and we jump dead end so you know what we do here is block that off building material there and uh, I don't have enough to fill that in oh well let's see what else we got here we got possibilities that way 
possibilities that way. And before you scream at me for saying, how could you pos how could you possibly pass up the most valuable item ever in the game, which pretty much means game over, you've won. I saw the lapis lazuli. Okay, you know what? Just to keep things more interesting, I'm just going to stop the exploration here. Let's save some for later, right? Uh-oh. Looks like the last one. So I'm going to do is pause the video, head back up, and take it from there. All right, after doing a lot of work in the field, I had more uh, bone meal, made more wheat. As you can see, I got 36 there. We'll convert it to bread a little later. One of the problems we got with this is that we've had monsters fall into the pit, and that is not acceptable. So we're going to close this in so that won't happen again. And temporarily, actually, that might be more permanent than temporary. Just do that so it's a little more permanent. This is going to be the porch for the house. So we have the fence extend that way a little bit. Let's just move those pieces there. It was during the night, one of the skeletons fell over the edge, ruined a piece of dirt. And again, I gotta make a couple, maybe actually four little slabs so we can safely walk across and not have to worry about stomping out a piece of dirt. While we're at it, got a lot more foundation block. And I still forgot to make myself a shovel. Good job, me. Alrighty doing right now is determining the position of the next pillar and plop plop I'll indicate where I want okay uh, actually I went out I didn't go in I made another iron pickaxe for when this one goes so I'll be all set that way. I'll just do that for now. This will be our oversized house here. We still have this little tract of land that needs to go away, but we don't have a sh level as you can see. We're digging this out by hand. So that's all gotta go. And we're pretty much nearly done this, so let's just wrap this little corner up anyway. Let's wrap out the f outline, shall I say. Uh, did I goof something? Did I? No, I didn't. Actually, I might change a little something here. Go. Hey, maybe not. I might leave it the way it is. There's our general layout. Well, let's just plop in these corner posts, which are going to be on all corners of the house. There we go. And there we go. Yeah, that will work. Let's just take a look at how it looks. We're not going to go up too far. Maybe right about here-ish. Yeah, it's not exactly a 100% you know, 100% uh, 
uh, you know, duplicate on both sides because it's all based on this corner over here that kind of got cut off. So that's how the dimensions outward went. It's based on this particular part of land. I know we could go further out on this side, but to keep everything symmetrical, which was the word I was looking for, that's how we are going to do it. Now, thing is, in order to in order to have a house, we also need windows. And in order to do windows, we need glass. That's kind of a problem. We don't have any. And nothing could fall in here now, which is great. Sun's starting to go down anyway. I haven't taken you down this long corridor in a while. Might as well do it. And this dirt patch here, I dug out the coal that was there to both power furnaces and make torches. So as we head down here and hopefully no more witches will spawn because when I was off camera trying to get more coal in the hills over here, don't you know it, another witch spawned. So I had to run to the other side of this hill. Then a creeper showed up. So I had to move away, then ultimately run back. And as you can see, the food problem is becoming a thing of the past ever so slowly. Okay, that's pretty much cooking up. One of the things we definitely could use is and if I lose stuff I'm not gonna worry too much uh, well actually let's while we're here I know we got uh, iron but you know what I don't care at this point stone schlevel what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out what should I say Go here in a swamp, find find some you know sand and cut away. Oh, that didn't go right. Yeah, I see the sand there, but I don't want that. I'm going for over here. So I can breathe. I can get plenty of sand without any worries. There, you see, really easy to get until you can no longer reach. Then, then it does kind of become a slight problem. This doesn't dig as fast under the, under the water, but it works. Let's see how many pieces of sand we got. 37. That's not enough for what we're going to do. So let's go over here and get some more. I know the, the riveting content. Oh, nope. That's two blocks deep. We can't survive in two block deep. Two block deep water. So ultimately they'll suffocate and die or drown just kind of a liquid form of suffocation so kind of right kind of wrong I hate how slow he goes up when there's land nearby okay yeah. I know this is very exciting and I know you'd love to see me do more of this and more and more but I'm gonna pause the video I know I know I know you say this is the most exciting thing ever but you kind of need to pause the video so I can uh, fill in a few more bullet points for this 
particular episode before you know, before the one hour time limit that I give myself runs out. Okay, see you on the flip side. Okay, after quite a long time of uh, gathering material, glass, I mean, sand for glass and what have not, we're ready to start the next phase of the project, which is to sort of get the house semi-built. All right, something ain't right here, which we made more of these as well. So I'm going to do is I'm not wasting the axe on that. Okay, just give me that. There we go. And before we make the same mistake here, plop and plop. There we go. Now this is as this is amped for amplified biomes I'm thinking of making these making the house a little amplified as well that is not going with the traditional three or four block high high rooms for uh, for realism so what I'm thinking of doing and we forgot to put a pillar here just to mark what things are so maybe f just a hair higher, like maybe five or s yeah five, and the sixth being the deck for the next level. And over here, I think at some point we'll make a porch. And it doesn't seem to make sense to have. Does it seem to make sense to have a door that goes out to a cliff? Oh, and while I was working, as you can sort of see, it's clearing out some of this land just to make some of these uh, traversing a little bit easier. And I built a bridge. You can't see it because it only spawns so far all the way to the other side of this lagoon. So I did that. I'm not sure if I'll have a back door here. Three, five, three, four, and yeah, we'll do it. But I don't want, I don't want the log facing that way. So I, I did not use this shovel because I wanted to use use it on this piece of land because there's very little uh, separating this from being flattened out and unreachable from, by enemies once we light this area up fairly well. Now I'm not exactly going to frame in all the windows and doors as of yet. I'm just going to just gonna see how well everything's gonna appear. I'm not sure quite yet how it's all gonna come out. Yeah, I think that'll look alright. And with that being said yeah, we need a lot more of these oak planks. This is going to be the main entry because, well, there's how we get up here. And for symmetry and access to the yard, put a door there. This will be the porch. I think, let's see. That's gravel. We don't want that. We want that. So, yeah. I'll just stick with the original dimensions here. Plop. 
Not where I want it. Yep, plop in. And right here. So, all right, we get wrong area. I mean, ultimately, like I said before, we're gonna cut that section out because flooring is gonna go in there. And in here somewhere, somewhere in here, might have one or two entryways into the little porch. And then there'll be just a roof over the porch. And the main house will actually start here, at least in terms of this section. That area, and that area will, that's where the house will be. All right. Let's just pop more of this in. There we go. Just the way I like it. Yeah, we don't have too much. At least we, at least we're able to get her started. Ah, no. I didn't want that there. Can see we got quite the way to go. I think three high will be how the windows are. I think that's about the height that we're at. Uh, that, yeah, a little bit of a splat there. Shouldn't have jumped. In that case, I shouldn't have just free fell. Nice jump. Anyway, that don't matter terribly. too far over they were getting a start on things wonder if any monsters have started spawning in yet we know they won't spawn in that general area wow look at all that wheat that's starting to materialize I like that This will get us started at least. Uh, old habits die hard. And I. Th okay, we got more. We're definitely needing more of this stuff. Oh, look at that creeper managed to put a destroy a uh, yeah I gotta put a gate in there there's no doubt about doing that so let's take another small hit oh here comes some zombies here comes a creeper oh Oh, you son of a gun. You almost made me swear in front of the kitties. Very little damage done, fortunately. That's a good thing right there. Very little damage. Very little damage. And it looks like our time is up, apparently. So, yeah, here's where they're still able to get in. So, let's attract his attention and... Ah! Let's try.
trying to make him follow his death. That didn't work. Big surprise there, isn't it? All right, we definitely need to shore up. We need to definitely shore up this end of the property because, as you can see, monsters can still get there. I can still freely jump up here, which we do not want. So let's just take a look around, be sure we're safe, and start closing it off. Oh, here comes a skeleton. Okay, everybody move. Okay, why are we missing our target here? Come on, get him, there you go. That's getting a bit too close for comfort. Right now we'll just do the immediate area. Yeah, this is going to be a slightly overtime. It's going to go into overtime a little bit. The idea is to keep them from getting up here to begin with. Unless they, of course, spawn right in. And die. Well, we'll be back with the ending. Okay, it's getting close to end game right now. I was going to end it where I did, but then I got killed and I wanted to get everything back. As you can see, I don't think we're going to have much problem with starvation anymore. We've got to put in a gate, maybe some fencing along the edges here so that things don't fall in. And yeah, I think this will be the height of the first floor five blocks and then the sixth will be where the physical deck for the next level is and I think where these outermost sections are especially or even maybe the mid the middle and some of these end pieces may be three stories high anyway like I said it's going to be slightly amplified house to match with the to match with the theme of this show. So that's what we got here. I just want to check something. Okay, that's good enough. And I think we'll end it right here. Facing this way. And saying, this is George F551. Saying once again to have a good one. And I hope you enjoyed this episode of Amped. More to come.